In this video, I'm going to show you how to change this guy's shirt over here to a different color, actually making it pink. This comes from a question in our Photoshop CC course. And I wanted to just make this tutorial for anyone that wants to learn how to not just make t-shirts change color, but really anything in Photoshop. There's different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you two different options. But the first and the main thing you have to do is select that part of the image that you want to separate and make it a separate layer, which will allow you to make adjustments just to that part of the photo. So I'm going to use my quick selection tool, which is this one right here. And once I use that tool, I can just click and drag over this guy's shirt. Now it might grab some of the stuff that I don't necessarily want. So to get rid of that, I can just press the option key. I'm on a Mac, that would be the alt key if you're on a PC and drag over the areas that you don't want to select. So down here, it picked up some of his jeans. So I'm still holding the option key. So I'm clicking and dragging. Once you're pretty close with the selection, choose the select and mask button up here. And here is how you fine tune the selection. You have different options and there's other tutorials that will show you exactly how to use this, but you could increase the radius. This is the automatic edge detection that Photoshop has. Click smart radius and increase this edge radius depending on what you like. Increase the smoothness. I'll probably add a little bit of feathering, something like that. Maybe bring out the shift edge just a little bit. Make it a little bit smoother, something like this. You could play around with this for a while, but the key is to get the best selection possible. When you're happy with that, click OK. Now this selection is just that. It's a selection. It's not a separate layer. So what we want to do is press Command C and then Command V to copy and paste. That would be Control C, Control V on PCs. So now you see in the layer panel up here, or it might be down here on your Photoshop that we have this separate layer. And if I turn off the background layer, I can see just that layer. Now we can do things to this layer to change colors. First though, I'm going to duplicate this layer because I'm going to show you two different ways to change the color of this shirt. One with a color overlay and one with a layer adjustment. So let me just turn off that top layer. And for this bottom layer, the quickest and easiest way to add color to anything is just double clicking it. It brings up this layer style box. Click color overlay. Now, I already have some settings set up, but typically you would probably see something like this, where it's just a white or a solid color overlay, and that doesn't, doesn't look too good. So what you wanna do first is let's choose the color we want. So click the color box. And now with your eyedropper or with this color box, we can pick a color. I'm assuming that the student wanted the color to match this guy's shirt, so I'm going to just select that color, then click OK. Still, that doesn't look good, good because it looks like we just painted over his shirt. You can't see any details of his shirt. It looks completely fake. So you can play around with the blend modes to see which looks best. I found that the linear dodge ad looked pretty darn good. All of these lighten ones looked kind of good and then overlay also looks good, but the overlay changes sort of the color of this image. So you can play around and see which ones look good. Even if you do one, you could drop the opacity. But if you drop the opacity, yes, that looks good, but it doesn't look like the pink right here. Changing from black to colored is a lot harder than something like changing this red shirt to a green shirt. There's different ways to do that. So I'm going to use the linear dodge add option, but because I do that, it changes the pink. So let's go back into the pink and adjust it to make it a little bit darker to try to match this other guy's shirt over here. It's got a little bit more red in it, I think. Yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good. Awesome, so that looks pretty good. Uh, especially if you have a better selection, you probably wouldn't even think twice about this. But of course, me knowing that it's changed, it looks a little off to me, but it's pretty darn good. So that's one option is with the color overlay. So let me turn that off. 
The other option is with a layer adjustment. So still I have this separate layer of the shirt, you can see there. To add a layer adjustment, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to use the hue and saturation adjustment. Make sure that when you do this, you check this box on, use previous layer to create clipping mask, because that means that this adjustment will just affect this layer, not what's below. If you don't check that, it's going to affect the hue and saturation of the entire image, every layer underneath this. So now you can see that it's just affecting this layer. If you don't see the hue saturation properties, just click this button right here. And now we would typically just go in and change the hue, increase the saturation, increase the lightness, but this isn't doing much. And that's because it's a black shirt. And what we wanna do is add color. And it's not just adjusting the black color with the hue. So we wanna check on this colorize button. So when you do that, it actually adds more color to this shirt. Now changing it to a darker shirt looks pretty natural, like that looks really good. Increase the brightness to increase how light the shirt is and then also the saturation. And you just have to play around with these settings to get the pink you want. Notice though that the lighter we go, it starts to look a little unnatural. And that's just because you are changing from black to white. But if you go darker, it's pretty good. But if you want a pink shirt, something like that looks pretty darn good. You can play around and try to match that as best as possible. So those are two quick ways that you could add color to a shirt or change a shirt's color. And like I said, it would be easier changing one of these shirts to another color. And when I would do that, I would just do the hue saturation layer adjustment. I wouldn't even do the color overlay. It'll look a lot better with the hue saturation adjustment for a shirt that is a colored shirt. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in another video.